All right, so thank you for those tallies. Now, let's take a closer look at the COVID-19 situation here in the country. I have Choi Min-jong in the studio for details on that. Min-jong, welcome. Thank you for having me. Right, let's start with the growing number of COVID-19 patients being treated at home, Min-jong. Right, Sunny, Korea added 12,000 new home treatment patients over a single day period. This brings the total to nearly 160,000 patients, and more than half of them came from the greater Seoul area. Health authorities are predicting our daily tally to reach as many as 170,000 by the end of February. And given this scenario, the number of people recovering from home is on pace to hit the 1 million mark by early March. Right, 1 million mark then, and that is precisely why Minjong authorities shared their intentions to streamline their management of home patients, right? Right. Health authorities on Monday announced that home treatment would be geared towards those at high risk. Patients recovering at home will be divided into two categories, an intensive management group and a regular management group. Um, those eligible to receive intensive care will be people aged 60 and above or those taking oral COVID-19 pills. Treatment kits, which include fever medication, thermometers, and self-test equipment, will only be provided to those in the intensive management group, and they'll continue to get two daily health checks. Those who are asymptomatic or have mild symptoms will fall under the um, regular management group, and they will not be provided with treatment kits and will no longer be actively monitored. Right, Minjung, and that is something that Soa mentioned earlier on Monday, but what is the protocol for patients whose symptoms suddenly take a turn for the worse? Well, if their symptoms worsen, they can contact their local um, hospital or clinic to access remote health care services, or they can pay an in-person visit to an outpatient treatment center. People are not required to inform authorities when they're leaving their homes for this purpose. If their health conditions worsen late at night, when many local clinics have closed for the day, they would have to call the Home Treatment Support Center for assistance. Um, every major region in the country has a pool of doctors and nurses on standby, ready to respond at any time. Right. Now, Minja, you just mentioned that COVID-19 patients at home can choose to venture outdoors for medical purposes. What about family members who are isolating at the same household? Can they go out? Right. They are allowed to go out only if they're picking up COVID-19 medication for um, the patient and their family or if they're shopping for basic necessities. Patients and family members under quarantine are no longer monitored with a tracking app so it's extra important for them to practice individual prevention. Family members are only required to quarantine for seven days now. Before, people in the same household had to isolate for seven additional days after the patient had fully recovered. Right, Minjung, they did. Meanwhile, on the vaccination front, what is the latest on plans here in the country for fourth doses? Right, Sunny. Um, health authorities on Monday said they are planning to administer fourth doses to residents and staff at nursing centers and other care facilities. Um, say they said this was mainly to prevent cluster and breakthrough infections at these venues. Data shows that a total of 66 cluster infections were reported in January at these locations, resulting in nearly 2,500 patients. So far in the month of February, we've seen an additional seven new clusters. What's also concerning is the relatively high rate of breakthrough infections among seniors who got their third shots. Although those infected with Omicron are less likely to become severely ill compared to the Delta variant, authorities say more hospitalizations are possible if more people at higher risk are infected. Authorities are also considering the use of Novavax vaccines for those who haven't yet received a jab. All right, Minjung, thank you for now, but do stay behind for more talks.